Hi, my name is Karen Tucker. I'm a bronze executive leader with New Avon Products. Real excited here to, it's going to be a quick video to show you how to put an order. I do have an, uh, a basic training video on YouTube. It's about an hour long and it's packed with great information. But if you just can't watch that whole hour, then at least watch this short video on how to place an order. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you. And I'm, I'm already into your Avon.com. Then all these tabs across the top is always where you want to, excuse me, where you want to focus. The first thing we'll do is click on my order. So now you have a customer order and you don't know how to enter it on, at your Avon.com. Once you're logged into your account at your Avon.com, where you enter your account number and your password, then you're going to click on my order tab. Now, and the next thing you need to do is get your customers in here. A great way is you can add all of them in the middle where you see create order. There's um, right across the line to the middle, it says add new customers. But a great way to get your customers in there is on, to do social media posting. You could do something as, as an, this is just an example, you know, register at my, a I just started the Avon business, register at my Avon website for a monthly free drawing. You can raffle a piece of jewelry that you may have gotten out of the book for $9.99 on your first order. And hopefully your next seven, six orders will be 40% off. So that jewelry would cost you with tax no more than $7. And um, jewelry, I always use jewelry as an example because most of it's very lightweight to mail. So now if your customers have registered, I also recommend you register yourself at your website, your e-store, because you want to know what your customers are receiving. About once a week, they will receive the latest and greatest um, advertisement with Avon and a lot of details on new products. And they're going to think you're, you're sending these emails because they are on your behalf. And they're done so professionally and so nice. You want to know what they're getting. That's why I recommend registering yourself. So now that they're in there, now you register. You, if you don't have it, them in that way, you can add them in where it says add new customer. So now I'm going to open, bring up myself. I am ready to um, enter an order. Uh, I have my name up on the left side in a second block or whatever the customer's name is. You drop down that arrow once you have them entered and you can find them. Then you pick your campaign. We're going to do campaign 17 since that's the campaign we're on. Now I already have an order in there. So I'm just going to put add to order. Otherwise you would put start new order. And um, once you have orders in there, you can always find them by going up to my orders and scrolling down to the bottom of the home page. <coughs> excuse me. And you will see your orders at the bottom. You just click on the order number and it will bring you right into that order. So now you see the course are blinking. All of our line items are six digits except bras. And I did a video uh, yet last night on how to find a bra number. So you're going to enter the, the numbers and I'm going to, I'm going to go in here and put an order together. So in campaign 17, I love all the mixed jewelry. So I'm going to order a pair of the silver, <coughs> excuse me again. We're going to order a pair of the silver buttons, which is one, four, eight, is it nine five six? Whoops. Okay, it must be nine six five because it went to the next line. When you know you when it doesn't go to the next line, it means you had the wrong number. So that's one item. And let's see. Oh, I like those silver ones at the bottom, the teardrop earrings. So I'm going to enter those one four eight. And that looks like eight two one. It is. It went to the next line. Of course, that's it is when you hit enter or return on the keyboard. So that is approximately uh, 15, $16 in orders. And let's see, should I buy the necklace? The necklace would be gorgeous. What I'm doing is working it up to a $40 order to show you how to submit the order and go all the way through 148764. So right there, that is, oh, that is almost $40. I need to get my husband some deodorant. I almost forgot. So now I'm going to go in here, and I found the deodorant page. And uh, I'm going to pick one that I know he likes. He likes the 24-hour unscented. So I'm going to order him a half a dozen, 926820, 926820. So I'll probably just order him 10. Then I don't have to worry for quite a while. And now that I know I have a $40 purchase in here, I'm going to order an A box. 
744-810. A boxes are all these these wonderful, neat A boxes on the back of our brochures. We've been having them for a year now, and it, they're phenomenal offers. Don't miss these offers and figure out your cost. If you're brand new, you're getting this at 40%. That's only going to be six dollars plus tax again that'll be less than um seven dollars to get everything in that a box and they're loaded so don't miss that opportunity you know what if your customers you always want to offer that to your customers and if they don't take up on if they're not going to do it then fine move on and get it yourself so i'm going to check now everything i entered my order item in and i hit add to add item to order which is the hot pink key at the bottom of, well, in the middle of the screen. And it's going to add that item. And always scroll down and check the prices of all your items. Make sure they're the same price that you saw in the catalog. Now, I'm going to go on the side just to show you where the sales tools are. Now, I want to add, say, if I wanted to order, um, you know, something out of the What's New book is a demo book, I would click here. If I wanted to, order um samples i would click on order samples on the side on the left side of where you're entering the item number if i'm going to click on order sales tools and that's where i'm going to go because i want to show you where if you scroll down you're going to see clear literature bags i'm going to get 10 and your order books you can only the most they're going to send you is 10 i definitely recommend order them then you don't have to worry about not having them now i need bags paper the popcorn bags are great they're as good as anything that's what we had forever in a day order you some if you order one set you'll be good you won't have to worry about even wondering um you know or, or having to remember that you didn't have bags now i'm ready to submit my order all my order is complete you've entered all your customers and you're ready so i'm going to click on my order tab again and uh, scroll down all the orders will be down below now i'm going to click on you can do view all and it's going to pull up um and it may tell you it's unable to give you an estimated price at this time, but um, you know if you know you you know what you have to pay up front. You have to put uh, half down on all orders. It should tell you approximately something at the end. So now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to click on. You can click on all the customers orders that you want to submit, but only those that you have pre-collected. Now I'm going to scroll down. How many customers I had? I had six customers. And I'm going to hit continue. And now it's asking me how many brochures do I want. And your brochures comes in come in packs of 10. I'm going to order 10 sets. And I think, uh, or, you know, do I want to get six of those and six of the other? Six would be 60. That definitely would complete a box. I think I'm going to just do six. And I would rather have um, some stop fake in it. I'd rather have another box of those. Ooh, summer rain candle. I bet that smells great. So now I'm going to click on continue to order summary. I have both my books ordered. You're ordering books two campaigns ahead. That way you have them and they're ready to give out. Don't just order the one next one because you're going to run short. Now, you have the opportunity now to look over the whole entire order. If there's anything that has a red light, it's going to pull it out. If it's red or it has a yellow dot by it, make sure you subtract that amount in the total order because you're not going to get credit for that, especially if you're trying to hit a specific goal and if you're new you are your upline should have sent you or an email telling you the goals either mail you something emailed you or texted to you i do all three for my first generation and my second through fourth they get at least my second through fifth they at least get copies by emails so now i'm ready to submit all of my orders ready so i'm going to click down here submit order it's going to pop back up to tell you if you have to put a payment up. Now it's telling me your next payment, pay Avon. Estimated order total is such and such. Um, less campaign credit, estimated amount due because I have, I've been with Avon for 30 years. I do have a large amount of credit. You want to make that payment right then and there. By waiting to make that payment, it will throw your order on hold 
I'm going to do quick pay. What quick pay is, is um, you have to go up in your profile and do quick pay. It takes about seven days to be approved. You have to pick a four digit code, you enter your bank information. It's completely safe. No one will ever touch your bank account. A1 will never touch your um, go in there. But I'm going to, and once you do click quick pay, you're going to enter a um, four digit code you have picked. And I'm making that pay. And it, that's why it's called quick pay because now that payment's in. So my order is in. It shows payment confirmation. It shows that it is being processed. So that's all you really need to know. That is how you submit a quick order. And hopefully this um, video was short enough for you. And hopefully I covered everything you'd like to know. Have a great one. Thank you. Bye.